Hey, what's up everyone, Kwa here. In one of my last videos, I showed you a grand tour of my home theater. And in that video, I showed you these acoustic panels that I hung around the wall. They help reduce reverb and echoes that could otherwise color and reduce the sound quality of your speakers. And when you spend a whole bunch of money on your sound system, you want to be able to bring out the best in your speakers. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I built these affordable DIY acoustic panels so you can improve the sound quality of your home theater. First, you're going to need a core sound absorbing insulation. I'm using the Roxel Rockboard 60 because they're cost effective, rigid, and Roxel is known for making great sound absorbing insulation. Next, you'll need two 3 inch by 8 feet furring strips. This is enough to make one sound panel. Measure out the pieces so that the insulation fits snugly inside the frame. In my case, the insulation is 24 by 48 inches. So I measured and cut out two 23 and 3 quarter inch and two 49 and a half inch boards. Now to assemble your frame, you're going to lay out your boards and square them up, drill two pilot holes, apply a layer of wood glue on one end, and then screw in two wood screws. Then just repeat this process for the other three corners. Alright, so now that you've gotten your frame built, it's time to lay down the insulation. You're going to want to compress the edges a little bit so that it gives it a nice snug fit. In my case, I'm adding a second layer of insulation for better low end frequency absorption. To prevent the insulation from getting pushed in too far from the front, go ahead and cut out some stops from leftover furring strips or scrap wood that you might have, and go around the frame, gluing them to the backside and securing them with clamps. Alright, so now it's time to cover your panel with fabric. You're going to want to make sure you pick out a fabric that's breathable so that sound can pass through into the insulation and not bounce off the fabric. I'm actually using two different fabrics here. I found the cheapest fabric that I could find, and I'm also using a speaker cloth. It's a little more expensive because it's specifically for making speaker grills, and because of that, it's going to be used on the front of the panel, and the cheaper fabric is going to be on the back of the panel. Start by covering up the back side of the panel by stapling down the fabric every 2-3 to three inches and pull the other end of the fabric to keep it tight. Then trim off any excess. For the front, you're going to lay the panel down on top of the fabric, and then pull the fabric over on top of the edge, continue stapling every 2-3 to three inches, and remember to pull the fabric tight, and then trim off the excess. Then attach a couple D-ring hangers to the back. Make sure you get hangers that are strong enough for your panel. And for the finishing touches, take a lint roller and get rid of any dirt and sawdust. Alright, so now that you've finished building all of your acoustic panels, it's time to hang them up. But you can't just hang them up anywhere. You've got to hang them up at specific locations on the wall called reflection points. Now these reflection points are points along the wall where the sound wave from the speaker hits the wall and bounces to your ear. Now, the time delay, the time it takes for the sound wave to come from the speaker, hit the wall into your eardrums is what is going to distort and color the sound wave. That's going to cause reverb and echo. So how do you find these reflection points on the wall? What you're gonna need is a mirror and some tape. So start off by marking each speaker with tape. It makes it easier to identify them. Then sit in your main listening position. Hold the mirror flat against the wall and slide it along the wall until you see the reflection of the speaker. If you have someone to help, this will make this process easier. Otherwise, you can just tape the mirror to the wall and keep moving it until you see the reflection. Once you've found the reflection point, mark it with tape. Keep doing this for all of the speakers. Once you've marked all of the reflection points, hang the panel over that point. Use picture hangers that are rated to hold up the weight of your panel. And also try to keep a 1 to 2 inch air gap behind the panel. This will help improve low frequency sound absorption. So once you've hung up all of the acoustic panels around your room, go ahead and rerun any speaker calibration on your receiver. And then sit back and enjoy some moves and music because you're going to be pretty amazed by the improved sound quality you're going to hear. Alright, well that does it for this video. Hope it's helped you guys in making your sweet sound system sound even sweeter. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.